What up everyone, Meio under here and today we'll be talking about these three major books that has dramatically changed my life. Coming up next! Wow. So first, let me give you a brief summary about this video. What should you expect from this? So basically what will happen is I will share my story about books. So before, I really hate reading books. I cannot emphasize it anymore. I just really, really hate reading books. I just thought I was wasting my time whenever I open one. So what happens whenever I open one is I open it for a few minutes and then after that, I'll just throw it away and then start watching this TV series. But then, I learned about YouTube. That's where I started to watch these motivational videos from YouTube channels or from these YouTube content creators. And I was inspired. I was inspired to watch these motivational videos on YouTube, daily basis, because I thought it could help me grow as a person. And then, one day, I came across to this channel I won't be saying I won't be saying his channel name, but he's a good person. He's a marketer. He's a successful person, and then he always suggests his viewers to try, just try, and read some of his books suggestions. And then here we go. Guess what? Because of his consistency, because he is good, because he was able to influence me, I started to read this book that he suggested on the description of his YouTube channel which is the How to Win Friends and Influence People. We'll be talking about this book in a few minutes because this is one of my favorite book as of the moment because it helped me a lot. So first book we have here, How to Win Friends and Influence People. One of the best lessons I got from this book is that to talk in terms of others' interests. First, you must know her likes. Because if you know her likes, what she wants, what's her favorite food, what time does she want to go out, you can get that girl easily. So it's like you're baiting the other person. You're giving them what they want so that in the end, you can get what you want. But, 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 take note. If you're going to use this method, make sure you're going to use it in a good way. Because you can literally abuse this one when you are able to ex execute it smoothly. So that's why you use it in a good way. I'm not encouraging you to use it in a bad way because it will never help you as a person. You will just keep using other people and then in the end they will realize that you're just using them which is a disaster for you. You won't be having any more friends because you use them. They will soon realize that. So that's why use it in a good way only. Okay? So lesson number two I got from this book is to remember people's name. It's very important. So, when was the last time you meet somebody and he or she forgot your name? Doesn't it feel bad because he wasn't able to remember your name? So that's how we feel. So when somebody forgot your name, it doesn't feel, really feel good. On the other hand, if the other person can clearly remember your name and she or he or she can pronounce it clearly, in that way, you will really feel special. Why? Because she, she or she can remember you and that's a good thing. That's why you should remember people's names so that whenever you meet someone, you can give them the sweetest word they want to hear which is their name. Calling people by their name triggers something in your brain. So for example, when you hear your name being called, automatically you'll be attentive because it's your name, man. It's your name. What more would you like to hear? So take note of this. You should remember people's name because it doesn't make good, it doesn't feel good if you're going to ask them the second time around you're going to meet them. So the last lesson I learned from this book is to be interested in other people's life. So I know some of you here already know this because it's quite common. You might think that being interested in other people's life is just by asking them, how are you doing? But that's not it. It's, it's the basic concept, but you should further, you should be specific when you're going to ask this, the person how are they doing. Because if you're going to ask them further, if you're going to get inside them, they will think, they will think that 
you're really interested about their life. You're not, you're not just faking it because they can really feel if you're just going to fake it. So if you're going to ask the person, how are you doing? And he, he or she will answer, I'm okay. And that's the time because when other people say that he or she is just okay, they are hiding something or they are not comfortable talking to you. So that's why you should be more interested about their story. You should follow up, you should do a follow up question. And if that happens, that's how you can make the other person or other people like you. Those are the three basic knowledge I got from this book. There's a lot of knowledge being offered inside this book. You just need to read it. So I do suggest this one. Try to read it. There's a lot of free ebooks out there. You can also try audiobook on YouTube if there's any available. So yeah, that's it for this book. So the second book that we are going to talk about is Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. So this book is all about being an entrepreneur and it's all about also following your passion and building your own brand using the social media platforms that are available right now. So let's talk about follow your passion. First, you need to dig deep down inside yourself and try to find out what you're good at. So if you're good at, for example, when it comes to social media world, if you're good at filmmaking, you're good at making videos, you're good, your editing skills are good, then you can be in a cinematography or you can produce these tutorial videos that people can consume like doing DIYs and etc. Also, if you're good in photography, you can pursue this one and post massive amount of pictures in this social media platforms for example Instagram you can post great pictures there and whenever you're going to post and then the picture goes viral automatically you can earn money so you're earning money just by following your passion and number three is writing an article so if you think you're good at writing articles producing newspapers but nowadays it's not newspapers anymore because you can actually read some news on the internet that's why it's what you call news online not papers because most of the news are being read on websites already so those are the three keys that can make you more money this year 2019 just by following your passion it's either you're going to produce video or pictures or writing an article number two lesson i learned from this book is to stop doing shit you hate but it's not that straightforward because in order for you to be able to stop doing the thing that you hate in life, first, you must do this. For example, if you hate your job or if you hate what you're doing right now, you cannot automatically stop doing it, especially if it's your source of fun. Because it's what pays your bill. If you're going to get out of job, you're going to do, start to do your thing and then you don't have capital or you don't have enough money to sustain your life, then you cannot stop doing shit you hate. That's why before you can do this thing, you must deserve it first. First, you need to work really, really hard and get that certain amount of money that you think can make you alive for how many years or months that you think before your business can make you some money. And then after that, if your business is consistently making money, that's the time you can hire someone to do those things that you hate. And in that case, if there's already someone working for you, you're, you won't waste your time anymore because you're doing, you're only focusing on the thing that you want. And that's how to stop doing shit you hate and that's how you can save time. And lastly, what I learned from this guy is the word hustle. This one, this is the greatest word I ever heard and he is the greatest promoter of that word which is Gary Vaynerchuk and the word hustle came from him. I'm just kidding. The word hustle came from the dictionary but he was the one who is heavily promoting this word on social media, across social media platforms that are available right now. It might be LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. He is everywhere because of the word hustle. He is hustling, he is trying to outwork everyone else so that he will be more successful. For example, if other person, this person who is lazy, he can finish the job within a year. But if you're like Gary Vaynerchuk, 
you can finish the job in less than a year which could be six months because he is working twice as harder than the other person that's why the work word hustle is very important to me because he is doing it every single day hustle and grind hashtag hustle and grind so that's for this book crushing it by Gary Vaynerchuk so the last book that we are going to talk about is think big by Donald Trump so I know this book can be controversial because I know some of you here hates Donald Trump but but let's not focus on hate let's focus on the lesson that he was able to share inside this book so let's go so in this book Donald Trump said there's a specific traits that successful people have with them number one is their attitudes number two is their actions number three is their persistence and number four is their passion so those are the qualities that separates losers from winners he also said that to be able to be successful you must separate yourself you must segregate yourself from other people from 90 98 percent of the people around the world so that leaves two percent you must be inside this two percent quota in order for you to be successful but in the level of donald trump because he is a billionaire he's too big his ambition is too big that's why this book is called think big because the level of his thinking is high it's massive he always think worldwide and as a businessman that's my dream that's why I always trying to think big as a person so that I can achieve big things in life so that's the first lesson I got from Donald Trump is to think big but he also explained in this book about the financial dream you're having right now so what's your goal is it to earn 1 million peso, 1 million dollars, 2 million peso, 2 million dollars? Which one? Before you can achieve your ambition, you must first set these little goals, these micro goals. If you're going to combine these micro goals, it will form into a big one. And then you will realize that because of these small steps that you're taking, you're able to be in the next level. So the last best lesson I got from this book is the basic instincts. So if you think you're smart, maybe you're not. Because you think sometimes you're smart if you're following this formula. Because you always thought that formula is correct. Because it's already a formula. It has already been crafted. It has already been tested many times. But sometimes it depends on the situation. That's why sometimes formulas get wrong because it cannot always be applied in the real world especially when it comes to business that's why Donald Trump said to always follow your instinct so you got to go against the tide for example if all the people all your friends are going to this point A which is the path A and then there are only few people who are going to this path B and this point A is much more easier than this point B because this is the common thing this is the thing that most people go for because it's easy to achieve and the point B here's where the entrepreneur goes or here's where the most successful people go this is their path this is their journey they prefer zigzag pathways rather than straight ways because the harder you can achieve your goal mean to say the harder you work for it and the harder you work for it the better the results the better the outcome that's why you got to go against the tide you will you must always follow your instinct because if you follow your instinct at the end of the day if you failed you'll have someone to blame but if you followed someone advised if you didn't follow your instinct then at the end of the day you got to blame someone which is very bad you'll be in a very bad situation follow your gut follow your instinct in that way you won't blame anyone else for your wrong doing for your wrong choice it's really up to you to become a successful or you want to become a winner then you got to work your ass off and if you want to become a loser it's easy just go just follow the crowd just follow the herd and then you will be loser in no time so that's the greatest lesson I got from this book there's a lot of books out there I will be reviewing it if you want but first leave a comment below what book would you like me to review the next for, for our next video so now it's the time it's time for me to encourage you to try reading some books you can read those three books that I have suggested 
but you can also read the other books that you it depends it really depends on what's your niche on what's your expertise and what's your strength so I suggest just to return the favor to the guy who taught me how to read the book just please 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 do read, try to read some book just one just try there's nothing to lose there's only to gain so before I end this video, I encourage you again to try to read some books because you won't regret it. You'll get these goosebumps from these awesome authors because they are going to share their secret formula to you. Just like what I learned from these books that I have read before, it's really worth it. So take some time after watching this video. Don't just go skip this lesson that you learned. Go apply it to your daily life and yes. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you want more. So guys, that's it. Meio under here signing out. Bye-bye.